every once in a while, but I don't usually hear anybody. Um, Wednesday nights, I'm kind of busy, but I, I actually got some time tonight. I got home a little early, so, you know, I, I figured, man, yeah, well, let me turn this box on. Yeah, what a beautiful day it was today. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's supposed to be even better tomorrow. County wide. Black and a half wide. On the classic radio roundup. Hi, Dave. Classic radio roundup. Where, uh, where all them good radios hang. There we go. That looks good. I guess Ranger needs to go to the pump house because you didn't hear him. some audio. If you got it, use it. Yeah, I don't want to pretend I'm running a bio fang. No, no, I'm not buying one either, ever. Everybody I hear on them things is way undermodulated. That's horrible. Yeah, that's a whole nother story. Oh, no. I'm glad I got the ox on, or whatever they call that thing. About the same time, however, though. Yeah, I don't know, but I've been hearing a lot of people lately, and they're so damn quiet, they can't understand. The damn Pialto's got more deviation than they do. Yeah, I got me a good old Kenwood. Me a good old Kenwood. THF6A, and it uh, receives from HF to 1.3 gigahertz all modes. Receive. With tri band transmit. Oh, what the heck of a receive band? Yeah, you can listen to the AHF because it goes does side band. That's awesome, man. Where the hell do you get something like that? Kenwood THF6A. Like a newer radio? Yeah, yeah, it's a newer one. Well, it's I bought it probably close on ten years ago now, but 
It ain't no bio fang. Nice radio. Yeah, all mode receive. Two six meters and four forty transmit. I think it was in the three hundred dollar neighborhood then. I don't know what it would be now. Discontinued, most likely. And I got a nice, uh, nice uh, eye poker type antenna on it. Now, what kind of an antenna could you possibly run on that to cover all the stuff that that thing covers? Oh man! Well, it's made for four band transmit, wide band receive. It's made for six two two twenty and four forty transmit. It's made for wide band receive. It's like eighteen inches long or something like that. Yeah, well, that's a quarter wave at two meters. Yeah, it works pretty well, too. Can you, yeah, I guess you, you pick up pirate radio stations with it. We can go looking for them. It actually has pretty good received sensitivity off that antenna on HF, surprisingly. Of course, I haven't used it in quite some while. It's buried in the desk drawer here. Better keep that battery charged up or it'll, it'll go flat on you. Too late for that. Battery's the first thing to go. Yeah, that's the truth. It's got the, you know, triple A pack and, you know, a wall wart you can use, whatever, external power. That's the HG you used to use when we were on six meters? That's right. I didn't realize it had that one of the receive bandwidth. Yeah, that was one of the reasons I bought it, so I could listen to HF at work. Before I brought an HF radio to work. <laughs> we may uh, we may not get the night train tonight. He uh, he uh, expressed uh, interest in uh, in taking a bicycle ride, so he may be gone. <laughs> Well, then I don't have to worry about having night train approved audio. No. Oh, man, look at that. <laughs> yeah, a crystal's drifting. That's terrible. Oh, man. Well, this has uh, the PLL wind up if somebody heterodynes with me. Oh, what do you want to Shakespeare? 740. Nobody sounds shattered. You're good. No, the other Shakespeare sounds shattered, but the transmit's just as good. So I don't know what it is. I haven't I haven't delved into it and tried to do anything about it in, in a long time. Someday maybe. Yeah, I'm running a seven knobber tonight. Well, there's only four knobs on the Shakespeare. Four knobs and a switch. Two switches. Well, I've only got two switches, but they're in the form of knobs. And the one switch is, well, both switches are actually pretty useless. PACB and SRF. That switch they could have eliminated with a diode. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. I mean, you know, a couple of diodes and, uh, you know, <laughs> you don't need to be switching the meter. Oh, man. Yeah, it's kind of a retarded design, but oh well, it is what it is. Still got that 6BQ5 audio. Yeah, I got a, a switch here in the form of a knob that's uh, a and L, noise blanker, and PA. I guess if I, if I go to PA, I have no noise limiting. <laughs> Not that I need it. Well, I got some good news for you. I won the lottery, but didn't know it. Pretty much, yeah. Oh. <laughs> the wife and I were talking over dinner about where, where our junk's going when I go. And she goes, I'm not even going in that back room. That back room, your back room, gives me a headache. I don't look in it. I don't think about it. I says, what? You're not going to... 
I start somehow I started talking about the satellite and what it, what the what the Demco is worth and this and that. I said, you got to at least sit, sell that off. She goes, you got a price tag on it. I said, what am I supposed to do? Put a price tag on all my radios, and so you know what they are when I die. Like I could die next year, okay, but if I die in ten years, that price is going to change. She goes, I'll tell you what. I just give everything to Dave. I'll phone up Dave, and, and he can come over and just take it all. <laughs> and I said, I said, well, well, that's fine if I die before he does. That's funny because I was going to do the same thing. I was going to give it all to you or Art or somebody and let you guys like sell it because if, uh, if it's up to my wife, she'll smash it all with a hammer. Yeah, well, my wife says she don't want to be bothered selling it. She'd rather just phone you up and have you come take it away. Get the big dumpster over there and I'll pull it off. Dumpster. That's what they'll do. I keep telling her. I said, you know, if you want to, you want to, like, you know, shoot yourself in the foot and deprive yourself of a couple of thousand dollars worth of uh, extra money, then uh, you know, be my guest. But yeah, that's what I said. I said the way things are going now, that Demco, you could probably put a thousand dollar price tag on it and sell it. The Barker and Williamson, you're gonna get a good pile of change for. Her. No, no, I'm just gonna call up Dave and have him come pick it all up. So, so there you go. If I if I die before you, just come over and get my gear. At least I know I'll have a good home. Doing a wheel stand on the way home. I'll bring the truck. Yeah, bring, just bring the truck. You know, you might may need some help to get to carry that B and W up the steps, though. I oh, am. Yeah. <laughs> because this is going to be like you know ten years or so in the future, and I, I don't even know if I'll be able to get out the door. Man. Well, I'm not the BMW. BMW is not going to move until the day I die. It's most likely not going anywhere because I don't want to pick it up either. Uh, that's a that's a real boat anchor. All 88 pounds of it. I'll be real careful with that Demco. Yeah, that Demco is probably the most valuable radio I got sitting here. Probably get more money for it than my new Yazoo even. Which is pretty sad if you think about it. Brand new whiz bang HF 100 watt all mode radio ain't worth as much as my 23 channel CB radio. What game do you have now, P? The, the FTDX 1200. Oh, all right. What's his name has one of them? Uh, pilot, uh, pilot, uh, don't go. I saw him do the other night. He has one of them things there. Uh, I got to think of his handle. I, I like it. It's a really good radio, middle of the road kind, you know, not too expensive and not, not on the cheap end either. It's good middle of the road. Yeah, he has to sell his up, though. He, he plays with it too much. But it um, didn't sound bad, too awfully bad. We can understand him anyway. Uh, Pyre Radio 104, that, that's his handle. You may have talked to him. He's down there in Devon. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't sound familiar. Maybe I have. But yeah, my, my Yezu winds up spending more time as a receiver than it does as a transmitter. I use it as a receiver with my B&W. You've talked to him. He goes by Roach. Oh, oh, I know Roach. Yeah, Roach. He said he used to go by Roach. I don't know. He, he got too many handles, but yes, I, that, that was his alias. Well, that's the problem. People start changing handles. I don't keep up. I mean, you know, they'll think you're two different people. Give me a complex. Complicated complex. Yeah, you got to make it easy for me. Come on. A senior, a senior classic guys, you know. Senior classic guys. Just got to have that twist in, don't you? Well, you know. I mean, I, I'm getting to the point now where I guess being senile is a is a, is a, uh, is a treat, you know. I mean, you can you could be the president of the United States and be senile. Oh well, since you brought it up, if you can claim you he, you can claim senile as a defense, you don't have to stand trial if you're senile. But yet, I find it funny that that he's he's too and too old and too senile to, and competent to stand trial. For uh, for having classified documents in the garage, but yet he's not too old, senile, and forgetful to be able to run for office and be president for four more years. Which is it? I think he should put all his documents in the trunk. 
Yeah, and then we can blow them up on, and with the Barbie mobile. <laughs> oh, oh God! That's the best five minutes worth of video footage ever. Can I go find that again? Just, just, just a laugh my my rear end off here. Yeah, it was pretty damn funny. Well, it all seems to be the political party that you're associated with, because another man who is actually allowed to have those documents is being prosecuted while the one for 20 plus years was accumulating those documents wasn't allowed ever to have any of them. Yeah, but if you talk to any of the ones that are in the middle of us, okay, the millennials, okay, they, they don't have to answer for nothing anymore. And then he could be like Hillary and just not intend to break the law as an excuse. Millennials are all victims. Don't you know that? Unless, unless they, you know, unless, unless you're a white male, then, then of course you've got to apologize for not being a victim, and that makes you a victim. If I have to hear it is what it is one more time out of their mouth, I, 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 I'm going to snap. <laughs> I think I use that phrase quite a bit. That, that is the worst excuse as an excuse that, that I know of. Sometimes, sometimes not. It is what it is. I think they just have a problem with, uh, you know, following through with anything. Well, when, when were all these people in school? During what years? And that's that's the reason for it. It was the Obama years it was all, when all these people are in school. Now they're out in the real world and can't cope. They need safe spaces and can't figure out what their gender is and all kinds of silliness. But their accountability, I mean, even they're, they're being judged by the same people and, and, and they're like, oh, 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 well. Like you're supposed to forget everything. It, like everything is just, you know, it, it, oh, it's going to go away. what happens you know you uh you don't do something and uh they hide their head in the sand and expect it to get disappear the next day that sounds like hunter you know if i just hide my head in the sand and don't pay my taxes i won't have to pay my taxes sit around and snort cocaine off a hooker's rear end yeah pretty much that's uh you know that's how you do it now you know, just uh just uh just just forget it you know you can talk like the Wizard of Oz or, you know, something like that. And just, uh, and it's no place like home. Tap your heels uh, three times and uh, call you in the morning. Ooh, there we go. Boy, this thing's rush around like, like nobody's business. You know, if Dorothy would have just put a leash on Toto, she could have avoided all kinds of trouble. Yeah, no flying monkeys or anything. Yeah, no Belinda the Good Witch. She needed to get more involved. She wasn't involved enough. I suppose she's a good witch. Good witches don't bother people, you know. Only the bad ones do. And they you know, they they uh they only come around when uh when it's you know, it suits them. She was union. <laughs> she she must have lived at the end of the rainbow. Yeah, something like that. Well, didn't she, she wound up, she, you only saw her, what, in the Emerald City? Uh, she, she would ride her, she would ride her bubble around anywhere. So I got another one. Does anybody need any antenna wire for building and wire antennas? Uh, talk to Mr. Green Dog. Well, Mr. Green Dog, gonna have to hit me up. I wound up getting uh, about what's it, two thousand feet of wire for free. I'm gonna keep most of it, but I can give some of it away if somebody needs it. Ooh, what is the cable? What is the what? What is it exactly? Four, Fourteen gauge primary wire. I know he was talking about it. He wanted to 
Marcus Rowe one up there, you know. Yeah, yeah, there was, they were, they were heading towards the trash can. Four or five hundred foot rolls. I'm like, yeah, don't be throwing that in a trash can. We'll throw that right in the trunk of my car. Yeah, you can make that uh, secondary 160 meter dive hole. That's right. And I got a roll of ladder line around here. I've been turning the house upside down. I can't find it. And I and I hate to point fingers and say you made it disappear because that'll just cause trouble. But I can't find it. But I have my suspicions. Not, not found over here. No, I'm not pointing my finger at you. <laughs> it's very local. I would be pointing the finger. I mean, you know, she could have called me up and said, come get it, but no. No, but she will when I die. <laughs> but then we can't talk about you. No, but you can talk about my radios. No, I'll be talking about your radios. <laughs> <laughs> talking about me on my, talking on my radio. 14 gauge, yes. Oh, he's here now. Uh, it's a 14 gauge, yes. 14 gauge, yeah. As long as you don't care what color it is, it's. I got. Well, I'm, the brown I'm keeping, the red I'm keeping. I think the other two are white. I give one of them whites away if somebody's going to make an antenna with it. And maybe I'll pop over. Like if you have, I, I got some, but I don't have much. Maybe I'll pop over and grab some. Yeah, since it was free, I could spread the wealth, but I, I'm. I, I got a couple antenna ideas that I could put forward now, so I ain't gonna give it all away, but I can spare 500, 500 feet, and that's enough to make you know a couple different antennas. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'll, I'll do that. I'll uh, I'll get it over your way there. Good deal. Cause I uh, I was thinking, I was just well, actually I was looking at the other night. And I had the brainstorm out, so it's something I've been throwing around. But I didn't know if I had the gear to do it. Well, now you can't say you don't have enough wire then. 500 feet is, is enough for most antennas with some left over. 520 foot for uh, an infed uh, 160. I want to put up another uh, 160 doublet perpendicular to the one that I have. That's a, that's a good idea there. Yeah, I want to see how that works out, if it makes any real difference or not. But the only way to find out is to do it. You're going to be playing Robin Hood again, eh? Now I wish I could find that, that spool of window line I got. I don't know where it went. I turned the house upside down, and I know I put it aside so it would be hard to find. And suspiciously, it's, it's not easy to find. So I have my suspicions, but can't prove anything. Well, that falls into that senility uh, category. Was it my fault? I, I just forgot where I put that. Yeah. Is that something like CRS? It's exactly like CRS, but it's CRST today. <laughs> you can't remember it today, and you won't remember it tomorrow. There's there's that trucking line, C R S T, and that's what I think of whenever I see them. That's probably what that stands for. I know what it stands for for me. If they mess your order up, that's what they mean. Good evening, folks. Hello, Joker. Hello, Joker. Hi, Joker. Good evening, Joker. And a good evening back to everybody else. Not everybody. I didn't come out right. I don't know. You, uh, you mud ducking it tonight? Oops, that better. That's more like you. I don't know how to take that. Is that better? That's more like you. Ah, man. I got a question for Joker. I watched your video gate, and and that what is it, Cobra One Thirty Eight? I think it was XOR or something. Is is that is that how you receive us on on all your radios or just that radio? Because 
man, you come over here a lot stronger than I was coming over there on your S meter. Um, that S meter is very, that, that S meter barely moves. Yeah. So all, all your radios were not that low, right? Just that one. I'm like, man, that, that S meter has got to be out of calibration or something or that radio is deaf. Yeah. I, I figured the same thing. Yeah. That radio doesn't have a good meter on it at all. Um, I'm, I'm recording it again tonight on my P400, which it seems like it seems like the P400 and the, even the Washington have a little bit of a, a dip in the receiver every once in a while. But uh, yeah, you'll see what this one looks like then. Yeah, I figured, man, I got to be coming over there better than an S4. Holy heck! But otherwise, it was good, you know. So anyway, I subscribed to you, and I saw Sandbagger subscribe to me finally after twelve years. Yeah, I saw you pop up on my list. I, you know, I, it t lets me know when there's new subscribers. I'm up to 181 subscriptions. Like, holy cow. Yeah. Although I still can't find where you can tell who subscribed to you. I looked all over analytics and everything, and it, does, it, it tells you how many, but it doesn't tell you who they are. Well, I, I found it because you mentioned it, and it's on my analytics page, who... who subscribes but it has like well i got like 181 subscribers but it only shows the top or most recent 20 of them and i can't i can't find the whole list can't even find that <laughs> well, i was curious though i mean i was scanning my analytics and there's a couple of my classic radio uh, video gates I got like 1,600 views on. I'm like, holy moly. Yeah, none of mine are that high. But, but my but my uh, gas turbine rotor and uh, GM EMD 645 videos, they're up around five and 10,000 views. I'm like, holy cow. So that's the most interesting stuff, is the stuff that I don't promote. Yeah, funny that way. Although also strange is is the was it last, two weeks ago last, last week the maximum knobs the Demco Super Satellite in one week got like 150 views and I've got you know more recent ones or most of them never reached the 50 mark you know 30 or 40 views 50 maybe that's already over 150 views uh, now I'm thinking is that because of the model radio. But that's not the first time the Demco's been on there, so I, I don't know what drives it. You never know. That's the weird thing. Uh, hey, Joker, I thought, did, did, did I hear you write that you recorded us on Sideband the other night? I, I was looking for that. I didn't see it. Yeah, I just haven't had a chance to upload that yet. Yeah, I saw one video on your on yours. One video. That was it. I'm like, yeah, where's the Sideband video? Better off just pleading the fifth on that one. Leave it alone. I plead the fifth so you can drink it. Hey, hey, Dave. Yeah. He, he still got CB cat? Are you okay? Yeah, she's laying here right next to me. Oh, uh, there, there you go. I was, I was wondering. She's here. She's, she's 
not only my radio cat, she's my work cat. My daily work cat. She sleeps, she sits up here with me when I'm working. Yeah, I, I, I have the two kittens. I, 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 I got one sitting on my lap now. He's, he's about the only lap cat I got. He, but he, he just sits in the radio room with me all the time on the chair. Yeah, radio cat's asleep right now. She's rolled over on her side. She's sleeping. Oh, no, this, this, this one, he gets on your lap. That's it. He, he can't leave the spider plants alone, but, you know, he's got to be told no. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't be as much fun without radio cat. There's a baker in there. You heard me? You heard me? Good evening, everybody. Renegade with the Westchester Wave. How am I getting out to you? Hello there, Renegade with the Westchester Wave. Good evening to you. Old JR up here in Border Town waving right back to you there, Roger. Good evening, JR. I think I heard Ranger in there, uh, Sandbagger. I thought I heard Spitfire, too. Good evening, everybody. Hi, John. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Hello, Westchester Renegade. You made this week's video gate. Good to hear you on. County Wide Radio, the Spitfire. Hey, Spitfire. Long time to talk. How you been? Uh, I'm good, man. I'm living life, living the dream and all that. It's getting warm out again. More antenna work, you know, can be, can happen when the warm weather. And I'm um, here every Wednesday from 8 to 10. Yeah, I've been saying that a lot lately. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, it's good hearing you. Hey, Ranger, how you doing, too? How you doing, Rick? Uh, I'm good, John. I I'm good. Uh, I hope you've been good. Any better, they'd make it illegal. Oh, well, you know how it is. They make anything illegal anymore. All you got to do is be incompetent. It doesn't matter. And also not intend to break the law. And it doesn't matter if you did. It's like lost paperwork. I can't spell all that well, so the letter of the law doesn't apply. The law seems to be optional anymore. If you don't feel like following it, just tell them you didn't feel, didn't intend to break it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I didn't know that was a law. Go, go figure that out. Yeah, I mean, officer, I didn't mean to speed. I didn't intend to break the law. It's just my car just, just goes fast. Nicholson's defense and one who flew over to Cuckoo's nest when he was talking to the judge. Well, it worked for Hillary, Hillary Clinton. Should work for the rest of us. Good old Hillary. Ah. No streak's going to be in there in a second. I think he's driving up my way. Yeah, there's still some skip land noise floating in and out of there. So he's going to have to get up on top of the hill and go to the pump house. Oh, no. Radio channel. You got any power to that mic? Holy moly. Good, good to move you. I think I hear him in there. I, I heard a breaker out there. Yeah, that was me. One, two, three. Hey, 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 Stinger. What's up? What's up? Nobody else can hear me? Uh, I don't know. I, I can hear you. Hey, cool, cool. Well, howdy, howdy, everybody. Ready, man. One, two, three. Hello, 123. Hey, 123, the Spitfire is hollering at you. Hello. I hear you. Yeah, 
tangled up with all the skip noise there, but I'm hearing you. Anyway, hello, good to hear you pop in. Hey, 10 4 10 Rogers. I guess Joker can hear me, and I guess, I don't know, nobody else can hear me. Howdy, howdy, anyway. Well, you made the video gate, so the video gate proves that I can hear you, and you're making it up this way, even if you're not getting on everybody's antenna. Is that no streak out there? I'm not sure if that was no streak or not. It's a couple people out there all talking at once. Is that you, no streak, breaker, spitfire? Well, I heard you in there, no streak, but uh, Texas took you right out. But you were in there. I did hear you. Maybe you need some better ground so Texas don't take you out. No streak, your Spitfire 441 on a classic radio roundup. show you right yeah something like that anyway i think i have a i think i have a dirty uh i got some corrosion or something on this clarifier uh control it jumps around when i tap it yeah there it goes 
Yeah, there, there must be corrosion on here. I guess I got to spin it around a whole bunch of times and make it uh, make it better. <laughs> the heterodynes behind you going rear, 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 rear. What radio is that? That's a uh, Lafayette uh, Telstat SSB twenty five. Yeah, by uh, perusing my own video gates, I come to realize I've had the Demco for 10 years now. Holy cow. Yeah, I, I, I came to that realization, too. I was looking, uh, you know, I, I, I watched the most recent one, and I thought, ah, let's go back and see what the oldest ones were like, you know, just to see it, you know, if, there, you know, if there's difference in people. And, and it's like, yeah, well, there's 44 Dave, and there's some people that aren't with us anymore, you know, but... Uh, yeah, some of the radios are still around. You know, I was like, wow, you've had that Demco for quite a while. Yeah, longer than I thought. Where did that 10 years go? But yeah, some radios have come and gone, but some radios are still here. Oh, yeah, the good ones. Of course the good ones are still here. And then some other good ones have shown up, kind of make room and get rid of some of the not-so-good ones. And you got rid of some good ones that you wish you still had. Well, that always happens. Yeah, I know. That's, that's kind of like the uh, it's kind of like the, uh, the par for the course kind of thing. Should have never got rid of. Uh, I should have kept one of those CPIs. That was just dumb to get rid of both of them. Yeah, I mean, get rid of one, but you know, keep the keep the better of the two. Yeah, I know that that move was kind of dumb, but. Not at the time, it didn't seem dumb. But now, in retrospect, it was dumb. Well, you needed money for something else. So. And that was an easy way to generate a pile. Yeah, those radios are... Uh, heck, they're even worth more now. You know, it's like everything else. You know, Everybody's got eBay prices on their mind. I know. I had a real good one with the base console and everything worked like it was supposed to. Oh, well. Say la vie. Yeah, such is life. Or as, uh, as uh, Ranger would say, it is what it is. They come and they go. You're going to make Ranger's head explode over there. Oh, maybe he's not listening, so he's all right. You didn't hurt him, then. Maybe his head exploded and he's laying there in a puddle of uh, frame goo. Or, or that could have happened. You could have actually made his head explode. That's why I can't answer. Oh, no. I want the video. Yeah, I don't need to see exploding brain matter. The movie Scanners. I almost forget that movie. I forgot all about that movie till he just mentioned it. It's not a movie I would watch again either. To see a bunch of people's heads explode. That's what the Democrats do to my head, make it explode on a daily basis. They're talking about loss of democracy and all that silly nonsense, and yet they're the ones turning the country into a police state, and literally. Yeah, they want to. They want to. Uh, they want to police uh, citizens, but they want to let uh, illegal immigrant illegal immigrants run amok. <laughs> but don't you dare call them illegal. Yeah, well, they're using the power of the state. To prosecute and persecute their political enemies. Oh, hey, Bill Jack. Uh, that's where we, we've all gone through this before. You know, it's like uh, it's what they they accuse us of doing is what they they themselves are doing. Deflection. It's the best way to do it. Absolutely. And the low information voters buy into it all. As the taxi has has officially hit the rail, heading down the cliff. If we're not careful, it's liable to catch fire 
before it gets to the bottom. That's okay. We don't. We we, we can complain or uh, a claim that we don't know anything about it. I got the ratchet set up. Take the carter out of the way. I'm just hoping that it doesn't overturn and land on its roof. Oh, I put a roll cage in the taxi. <laughs> uh, I guess that will help a little bit. Yeah, crawl, crawl, Molly, full race roll cage. Why am I picturing a uh, number two? Is this the driving cat? Oh, my cat. My cat is sleeping peacefully, not bothering anyone. What about this driving cat? Yeah, look up uh, Toons the Driving Cat. It was a Saturday night skit when they were actually funny. Hmm. Must have been a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, uh, late 80s, not early 90s, about that time. Oh, man. Dangerous take the city of Toons. It's Idaho, in case somebody didn't know. I'm back off the key. Oh, oh, there's the Tater State in there. It's uh, it's a um, menace. Hey, menace out there in the Tater State. You got a copy on the Spitfire, Pennsylvania? I guess not. Well, you just gotta wait and see. <laughs> You're not getting taken out by somebody else. Nope, menace. Six, nine, six, a menace out in the Tater State. How about a menace? How about a menace, Tater State, Spitfire, Pennsylvania, break. How about that Tater State Menace? How about that Tater State Menace, the Spitfire and the Keystone, Brigger? And we usually have a pipeline to him, but yeah, it might be too messy for him to hear me. Yeah, because usually if we hear him, he hears us. Yeah, he's coming in pretty strong, too, but he must have an earful. Yeah, I know if I can hear him on the back of the beam, then he must be doing pretty well. The airways aren't your favorite tonight. That's all right. I, I only like to shoot skip to people I know anyway. Otherwise, I can't be bothered. No. I'll have to put a link to the video gate on the uh, on the Idaho uh, faceplant page then. Maybe that's how I got so many hits on... Uh, on last week's video gate, because I've never linked it to, to Faceplant before, and I did. So maybe that's the difference. Oh, I'm sure that's got a lot to do with it. Prosperous and uh, happy. And... I can't imagine anybody who's read watching my feed would bother looking at it. From the grandkids and their kids. The men is out now, though. I get a philosophy. Well, now you're going to get a bunch of people interested in radio. Well, that's kind of the goal of it all. Documentation and uh, and representation. Is that uh, no streak in there? Hey, no streak. Oh, yeah, I got all kinds of skip land coming in, but you're in the clear at the moment. You're not competing with nothing. You're giving me about four S units. So as long as there's no other skip land noise, you're, you're fine. Hello there. No streak. Spitfire, you're doing your thing. Check it out on the gate. At uh, 49 minutes in, you made it. Can we do it again? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Idaho just took you out, but then, then I hear you in there. So, you know, without the skip land, I would hear you wherever you're parked in that car backwards there, No Streak. But good to hear you all, man. Hope all's well on your end. It's been a while. Old No Streak sounding good up here in the volcano crater. 441 to Spitfire. 
on this antique glowing glass Shakespeare 740. Yeah, well, you're doing pretty good at the moment. I don't know if anybody else up this way is hearing you, but I, I hear you when you're in the clear. Yeah, yeah, I feel for you, man. I don't miss that guy at all. That's that same knucklehead that was bothering us before. Yeah, he's just one of them miserable old people ain't got nothing else to do, so they want to make everybody else just as miserable as they are. Let me take a standby there, no streak. While it's quiet and I hear you well, let me see if anybody else is hearing you up this way. Not me. Not me. Say again, no streak. He's in here. He says he can't hear you. Joker can't hear you. Uh, how about Ranger? Ranger Rick, you still in here? His head exploded. Yeah, Sandbagger's beam is stuck in place, so he probably can't point it down to where you're at anyway. I got to work on Saturday, so Saturdays are no good for me. But, uh, hey, I got you up on my 85-foot-in-the-air antenna, and I guess I'm the only one up this way hearing you because of that. So that makes me happy in of itself. Yeah, you're touching uh, touching my S4 here, and I hear you just fine when there's no skip land competing with you. But I got the Mojave Desert coming in. I got Idaho coming in, Texas coming in. But when they're all being quiet, I hear you. Well, don't worry about it. I hear voices even when my radio is not on, so it's not not nothing to worry about. Yeah, you got on the gate real good there a few times in, in, in the clear. You'll like it. And then the Mojave Desert comes in and cuts your lips right off. So I don't know what to tell you, but, you know, I yeah, I guess you're still too far away to really make, make a difference. But, you know, on a non-skip land night, where you're at would be working out okay. Where is he at right now? Where is it that you're at exactly, No Street? Thornberry, you say you're near Thornberry? Chad's Ford? Is that a Roger? Roger, Roger on the Chad's Ford. All right. Yeah, I'm not that familiar with all that area down there, but I know you're a pretty good hike then still. Chad's Ford's down there. What? That's Chester County down the bottom, ain't it? Two hundred two and Route One, yeah, that helps me out a little bit better. Yeah, you're down there by uh, what is that? Uh, Longwood Gardens is down that way, ain't it? Yeah, 
Well, it's down that neck of the woods kind of thing, sort of. But yeah, okay, I get the general idea. Oh, getting a little lightheaded, are you? Yeah, you know, you're always down there around that, that river sea level. So anytime you leave that place, you know, that oxygen's going to get rarefied for you. <laughs> roger, roger ought to be pretty high up and get lightheaded. Dead for her. So there you go, gentlemen. Chad's Ford area is where he's at in his mobile. I can actually hear him. He says I'm giving him an S5 down there. Hey, you're doing good, man. You're doing good. Route 1202. I know. Right where it's at. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. That's that 85 foot in the air up in my tree antenna that's doing the work. I don't know if he's going to run it from Europe. Because usually when he's on his base, he's too far in the mud. He wasn't when he was running that two element quad. No, uh, when he had the V quad, he actually made it up here a couple of times. Uh, I could actually hear him, but uh, yeah, not since then. Yeah, he did really well with that V quad. And then my antenna wasn't up as high as it is. If, man, if he had that going on now, I know I'd hear him. I'm sure. Yeah, now now I'm motivated to try and get up another 20 feet. I can still get up higher in that same tree. That would be interesting. At least at least 15, 10, 10 to 15. I don't know if I can get full 20, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try to get the full 100, 100 feet in the air, see if I can do it. There you go. Now you're talking. I would say Chad's Ford from my place, air mile, looks like it's 36 miles. Yeah, so that's, you know, base to mobile. He's, he's not even on a base. I think he said he was running a two pill. Is that right, New Streak? You're running a two pill? You're running a two pill, Roger? Oh, you're just running a radio? What's the power of that radio? 20. 20? Oh, Roger, Roger. 40 watt dead key mobile radio. 10 4, Roger. Hey, very well now. He's up to about four. Well, go, we'll see if we can hear you there, JR. Take it, take it. What's his handle again? No streak. I hear you, JR. I'm sitting out there. I'm getting ready to head home. But I hear you, JR. You're getting about the same as Pete's getting about a five. Hey, Roger. We're about a five. Yeah, you're sounding pretty good. Not, not a bad job up there for a 40-watt mobile, you know? Good, good. Oh, yeah, you got the old K40 on there, too. Good combination. Good deal. Glad that uh, we made the trip down there. Yeah, those antennas have been around for a while. I haven't heard their name mentioned for a while. That's probably the first I heard them in probably about a year. Um, I don't know. You know what? The next time I'll, I get on the uh, uh, the truckerized uh, website, I'm going to check it out because he pretty much has everything. I'll see if they're still selling them or not. Oh, yeah, they're still selling them. Yeah, 123 says they still sell them, so there you go. The word is they, they, you know, they're, still, uh, they're still selling them cotton pickers. Hey, okay, you're sounding good up here. I don't want to hold it up, though. But uh, good job on the mobile there. I like the combination you got. And uh, take care. Enjoy. Yeah, I didn't hear what radio he's got. Uh, the radio he has.
has his 40 watts output. I do know that. I, I forget what it was, though. He did tell me. Okay, all right. And he's got a K40. Is it a truck with mount, or is it um, stuck in a, you know, a trucker mount? I don't know. Uh, maybe you can talk to him. I, I don't know. He's down there around Chad's board. I know. I'm closer to him than you, and I'm hearing you better than him. But you said he's giving you, like, five pounds? Yes, he is. Yep, he's giving me four to five pounds up here on my volcano crater radio station. Yeah, I don't, I didn't hear what radio he said he was running. All I heard was the forty watts. Yeah, I'm having a hard time hearing New Street. One, two, three. He's trying to make a trip. I think he was getting ready to leave the spot. You still in there, New Street? Yeah, I think he left his spot. I think he's mobile, mobile, and I can barely hear him now. Is that somebody keying up Spitfire, or is it just by hearing rolling? Well, there's always somebody keying up. That high-pitched noise there? Come on, Breaker. Break it, don't fix it. Yeah, I gave a break and I never heard nothing else. hearing a squealing carrier over here so it must be local to you or something I even hit the preamp on nothing nothing like that this is nine pounds nine pounds of it yeah that's gotta be local to you digital nonsense could be, because, you know what, if I flip on the flat side, I don't hear it. Could be, uh, could be some power supply wall or something, you know, switching. I'm 
It won't work until you get the front wheels off the ground. If it's a steep enough hill... That's some pretty steep hills out here. That was pretty cool, man. I can see making a trip from Chad's food to you guys. I'll tell you what, I've been down that way and I don't know. I haven't made any contact yet. Yeah, he was definitely doing a pretty decent job. He really was. And a 40 watt radio. 40 watt. 40 watt. Yeah, copy that. That's kind of like what mine makes, 40 watts, 45 watts, something like that. Oh, it depends on the meter. Well, one of these days you're going to hit 4,000. How's that? Uh, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not going there. I got one box that does about a K. And I might get some that does like 2K, but I, I, that's enough of that. Can't be happy till your head swells. Nah, nah, nah. You'll see. You'll see. I put that four pill in here. Dude, I talk all over the place with that thing on low. I don't even have to turn it off. Yeah, it makes a difference. It truly does. You'll be fine with just that. Why don't you get that all squared away? You know the deal. Yeah, it's at four. Yeah, it's like you key up you key up a ninety watts and it swings at like two fifty. That's enough. That's all right. I'm telling you, I talk over the country with a mobile with that. Hey, let me know if you know anybody's looking for a base. I got this DX twenty five forty seven I'm gonna sell. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. I wanna put that on our on our Facebook page. Um Undertaker might be looking for a base. Do you want to sell the base there, JR? Yeah, I want to make room. I want to make some room. Yeah, I was even thinking about throwing one of the RM Italy's in there with a the fan on it, you know what I mean? You don't run, you don't run the RM Italy with that, do you? Oh yeah, sure I do. That thing will sit there and run all night. You can even run it on that thing all night. With all the pans on it, I think it just runs and runs and runs. Yeah, but the beach by itself, right? You're not driving that in, into an RM Italy, are you? Not right now, I'm not, no. Oh, oh, but you did before you used to run it like that? Yeah, I used to always run it up here. Yeah, now, nice little, uh, nice little tick there. Okay, I didn't think, I didn't think those amps would take a, take a, um, like a little final radio going into it. I don't know why it would. Well, I mean, I, that's, that's a, that's a pretty good bit of power. I mean, is it like 40 watts going into it? No, 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 no. No, this only puts out... This is toned down to about, I think, uh, with the power all the way up, it's five watts on AM. For a sideband, I got it turned down to about, uh, um, I guess it does 20 watts peak, I think, I got it set for. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Those, those amps will take that. They'll take 25, maybe 20, 30 watts. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, my knob's not all the way to the right, but it is about 60% to the right. <laughs> Mine's not to the right, it's straight up and down. I'm debating whether I should switch to another radio. Too much trouble for me to switch radios and move the camera, too. One of them's going to go crash, so I just won't do nothing. 
makes it harder with the video gate to be changing radios around. Well, that's true. That is a bit of an encumbrance. Oh, oh, I got one more item up uh, that I that I got up. Uh, if anybody's looking for a ham four rotor with a control box. What's that? You, got, you saw one of them? That's right. That's where I got a ham. Well, I don't know if I just. I don't know if it's a ham four. Nah, it's not that heavy duty, but it's got the. I got the CD control box. It's, I guess it's a. Uh, what do they call that? A forty four or something. Oh yeah, maybe it's a CDE. It's a C D E, but it's a heavy duty rotor. Yeah, the ham four is a is a, I think that one at one time it was the heaviest duty. Yeah, that's what it is. What's that? The bell? Yep, the big bell. And it's got the uh the mast the mast mount bottom. Uh, I still have the rotor you gave me. Wasn't that one of them realistic rotors? Three wire jobs or something? Yep, yep. I, 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 I found another one that was newer, but I, 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 I still have yours. <laughs> I still have it. I, I'm using the old orange rotor. Well, since my antennas that I had on the house got booted off the house, I got nowhere to put it. Yeah, I don't know. I'll be afraid of putting a bell up here. You saw, oh, man, that might be too much waste and stuff. Well, I got one just like it, holding up my uh, my Mosley three element tribander on the top of my shed, and the wife keeps saying that one of these one D days the shed's going to be laying on its side. Well, it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, I've been waiting for that too. I'm surprised. It's been there, I don't know, since before before Firestarter was around. He helped me put it up there on the shed. And is your tree still in the way, Dave? And we've had some pretty nasty wind lately, so it hasn't blown over yet. Nope, nope. The shed's not laying on its side. It's still upright. Tree is blocking the wind. Hey, hey Dave, is your tree limb still in the way? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's getting worse. Yeah, every year I can imagine. And now I can't turn it at all because I disconnected the cable because I got a new roof put on the house. I haven't had a chance to hook it all back up yet. Yeah, I don't know. My, 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 my flat side is all right. That's intact. But the, 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 the vertical side of the date made is, is, uh, <laughs> Speaking of heavy duty, I think sooner sooner rather than later we're going to be having some heavy duty signal from the Wonder Boy. Oh, we already have that. Yeah, well, he's going to be worse because he just he bought uh, he bought uh, Last Chance's Seven Element. Oh, really? Uh huh. All right, that's my old Seven Element. How about that? Oh, is that where that came from? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, Wonder Boys bought it. Yeah, we'll get some good use out of it. That's not an easy antenna to put up, man. That's, uh, that, takes, that takes a heavy-duty tower and a whole lot of other heavy-duty things. Oh, I got a rotor for him if he needs it. Oh, I got a 40-foot tower here. He like, room 45 or something. Yeah, that antenna was no joke. Uh -huh. that was the deal. Seven element, how long is it? I think it was like a 36 foot balloon, 36 and a half, somewhere around there. It's honest to God DVD on that antenna. <laughs> Maybe I'll be able to hear them now. Oh, yeah. I think you can hear Wonder Boy anyway. I think I think I talked to him. Oh, old Jr. He put that thing down my throat from I don't know seven to ten miles away, and cut my neighbor's lips off. That was only a quarter of a mile away. Yeah, they tend to do that. 
That was the damnedest thing I ever seen. I wish I had that on video gate. Yeah. And it's even funnier because uh, uh, old Genie was running, uh, I guess, uh, was, he, was he running the Collins? He was, he was pumped up too. <laughs> but on the other hand, there was a mountain between the two of you guys. Yeah, but even still, he was stepping on the gas. I know old JR, I think he had that Texas Walker behind it, but still, seven to ten miles away, caught his lips right off. Yeah, that's amazing. That's a beam. And a big beam at that. A Tennessee Walker amp put out some power, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it did. It definitely did. It did its job. What'd that thing do? 500 dead key on AM? Oh, easy. Easy. Dude, I seen two grand come out of that. Yeah, I'm not talking peak, but would you run it? Like 500 carrier? I seen two grand dead key out of that. But the, don't hold it. I mean, but that was that was the max max, and it was tight. Now, I probably ran out about... Uh, Probably about 13, 1400 dead key. Holy cow, I didn't know it did that much. Oh, yeah, absolutely it did. Was that four of them steel tubes in it? Yeah, four of them. Uh, three CX uh, 250s? Uh, two, yeah, two, three CX, yeah, 250s. 250 Bs, I think they were. I got a set of them down here on the floor somewhere. I thought it's 4CX250. There you go. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. There's a 3CX. It's only three grids. I get the four is four grids. Yeah, that's what it was. 4CX. Yeah. I know I had an amp that had one of those tubes in it on uh, UHF, and it would put out 300, 350 watts on UHF. Burn more than my fingers, damn near killed me. I'm sure that tube's a lot more efficient at 27 megahertz than at 432. Well, if you figure, you know, the 250 usually will put out, you know, twice what it, what its rate, you know, what what it, the number is. So you figure 500 watts of tube, so that's that's a total of 2 kW. But that should be peak. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. And I thought I was doing good with around 300 on sideband with it on UHF. I used to have one of the Cry DX, uh, what the hell was it, DX300? I had one of those tubes in it. And you can yank 250 on AM out of that. Yeah, yeah, that was a good amp. That's a good tube. Breaker? That was a hot box. Go ahead, Breaker. Skippy checking in on my uh, Ron Whatcha Bro, Midland, Mobile. Oh, what you Bro? What model Midland's that, Skippy? <laughs> I hope you cut out or something. I didn't get that. 13 883. It's the stock microphone with the awkward button on it. Okay, 13 883. Ah, that's that. I think that's the radio with a whole, whole, whole crap load of switches on it, isn't it? No, just four of them. Uh, six knob radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. It's got a lot of stuff on it. It's like, it's like the next one up from the 882. It's got you know a lot more uh, knobs and switches on it. Between Seem to have issues with that push to talk button. Uh, you you got to shoot, shoot some tuner clear or something in that uh, mic switch there. It just keeps cutting out. Yeah, it's not the switch, it's the plastic part. Uh, it's, uh, it's AFU. Switched hands to my right hand and now it works no problem. 
uh, you're a switch handed switch hitter. Okay. So it's a right handed versus a left handed microphone. Yeah, I guess it was made for your right hand. It's a left handed smoke shifter. Sounds like it's made for the Polish people. Yeah, most of these microphones seem to be uh, seem to favor right-handed people. I guess I really never noticed because I'm right-handed. I don't think, in my mind, it doesn't matter. You either squeeze with your fingers or you squeeze with your thumb, and it doesn't matter. You put it in either hand, you use whatever squeezy part. Oh yeah, it can work, but one feels more comfortable than the other. Yeah, they kind of fail on the button on this microphone. It's just too bulky and too goofy. Train is on the track. Hey, there he is. He got back from his bike ride. The train is in the station. County wide. Good evening, Mr. Train. Choo choo. Wow, hello. Everybody, let's see. We got Skippy, Bagger, Pete, JR, anybody else? Oh, hi, Stevie. Hey, man, where you been? Uh, around, uh, around. Uh, how you doing? Doing good. I thought about you today because I passed by that way. 10 4 40. No, Bagger, I never did get on a bike. When I came home, I was bushed. 10 4 <laughs> hey, you're showing your age. Yeah, I was really showing it, too. My, my daughter told me I was walking like an old man. Oh, man, that's, that's the kiss of death right there. Hey, 10 Oh, night train. What radio are you on tonight? I'm on the um, Lafayette HB444. Uh, it sounded pretty good at my receiver. Thank you. Even train. Good evening, Joker. What's going on, man? Sitting back, playing radio. What's your uh, line for CRR? My uh, President P400. 10 Oh, everybody sound good tonight. Oh, oh, I like that. Because I was told I'm not train approved audio, but I was Alley Cat approved audio. You sound all right, Penny. All right, all right. Well, I, I'll take it then. It work. It works. Shakespeare, seven forty, Panasonic Radio. Ah, yeah. There you go. Back at what you running? Lafayette, Southside SSB twenty five. Oh wow! Is that the one with the aluminum face? Yeah, all brushed aluminum. Yeah, and the twin meters. Twin nice big fat meters that I really like. Did that radio come from here? No. It came from California. Didn't I sell you one of them? Or is the SSB 50? Is that the same kind of radio? Why do I think that I had one and you got it? But I guess not. I have an SSB 50, but I got it out of a box of junk radios that I got from Wayne years ago. Yeah, because I got one of them. I think now I don't. I think it was the fifty, and it like it sounds like it looks like that. And I got it at Jake's for real cheap. I sold it to somebody, and I thought it was you. Uh, well, the SSB fifty only you know, has one meter, and it's a mobile. No, it wouldn't have been that. It must have been the twenty-five because it was a base with two meters. Yeah, when did you have one of those? Because I would have beat your door down for that. No, I had one. I got it at at, uh, at the Perky Sale for like I think it was like ten or twenty, but twenty dollars. Jesus, what the hell? I don't remember that at all because uh, I would have wanted that radio. <laughs> I've always wanted one of these since I was thirteen. Uh, now I got to go back and look through the video gates. I know it's on a video gate. I would have seen that. Yep, yep, it was a La Lafayette SSB 25. Yeah, silver faced, two meters. Yep, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm mistaken in the model number, but that's what it sounds like. Maybe it was an SSB 100. It's a wood green, kind of looked like the 898, but it had two meters on it. That was, uh, you know, that's a, 
That's a different kind of radio. Nah, it wasn't no wood grain. It had that burnished aluminum face. That's just weird. Well, uh, hey, Dave, if, if he still got it when he passes, you'll get it anyway. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, but I don't have it anymore. Now I got to go back and look through the video gates because I'm pretty certain there's a video gate of it. I would have seen that. I would have been like, where'd you get that radio? At the perky sale for like 20 bucks or less. Uh, yeah, I would have bargained that one out of you. That's where this one came from. Is there another one maybe that looks like that with a different model number? SSB 10 or something? I don't know. I can't remember now, but I know I had one. Yeah, that's, that's an interesting mystery. Because I, I guess I, if it would have been this one, I would have been uh, all over that. What number is that so I can look it up to see what it look like, see what the hype is all about? SSB 25. Yeah, now, now tomorrow I'm going to be looking through video gates because I know it must have made the video gate for sure. And I know I had one for a little while. And why or when I sold it, I don't remember. Why, when, or who? None of that. I thought it was you. I could have swore it was you, but obviously it's not. Oh, uh, I got this from my buddy Mitch. He, he found it at a ham fest out there real cheap, and he cleaned it all up and sent it to me. So there's no Lafayette aluminum-faced radio that you got from me over there. Midland 13898B from you. I got the the 2547 came from you. The Simba came from you. But that's all. I think that's it. Well, the Cortez. I don't think anything else did. Uh, Cortez didn't come from me, I don't think. But you still got the Regency Imperial? Yeah, I got that. That's right. And yes, the Cortez came from you. Now, what the heck does that look like? Cortez? Yeah. It's an SPE, man. It's a three-knob radio. Mobile. I don't ever remember owning one of them. You didn't have it very long. And uh, I forget how you got it. I don't know if it was a perky sale thing or what, but, you know. Here we are with the CRS again. Very nice radio. That's a two meter radio, there, Baggard. Oh well, yeah, that's two meters. An S meter on one on the left and an RF meter on the right. It's nice. I've seen them for uh, plenty of times. Come, in fact, there's one on the bay now, but it looks crusty. I could have swore I sold you that radio, but I, obviously I didn't. But I could have swore I did. Yeah, no, this came from Mitch. Well, I, I don't disbelieve you, but now now that leaves a big empty hole in my memory brain. And mine as well, because I don't recall you ever having one of these. I did. I ask questions. What did you do with it? Sounds like a bunch of five nights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? They're going to come and prosecute you for... Uh, Hiding a radio that you didn't sell to me. Not if you're too feeble to be prosecuted. Can't stand up to it. But I can run for president. Maybe it's with your ladder line. It may be with the ladder line that I can't find. A whole spool of it. <laughs> a Lafayette 25 sitting on top of a spool of 450 of a ladder line. You know, and, and it's a spool. It's a whole spool. It's not like it's anything small. That's what amazes me why I can't find it. It's not small. It's a spool of the stuff. I can't find it anywhere. I don't know if you'll ever get that radio back. It's in your shed. I'm going to have to go out in the shed and turn the shed upside down because that's the only place that it... I looked in there on the surface, but I have to dig because, you know, if it's buried. But Man, I swear, like, I, you know... Sometime last summer or fall, I unburied it because I was going to use it. So I can't imagine it's buried anywhere, but it has since disappeared. It's hanging in a tree somewhere. I do remember you buying a radio 
know, for like 10 or 20 bucks from the uh, Perky sale, but it was a Midland. It's a 13 863 base. It had a single meter on it, and I think two switches, and you, know, I, you got rid of that too, I believe. Maybe no, nah, maybe it was a Midland, but no, I had a nice two meter Lafayette base that I got. All the radios I get there cheap. I, I don't I don't think I ever spent more than twenty bucks for a radio there. When was the last time you were at the Perky Sale? Last summer or, or last fall. But it ain't it ain't what it used to be. It's all it's all auction stuff now. You gotta hang out and go through the auction junk. There's there's very few flea market tables anymore covid kind of ruined the flea market end of it it seems but uh yeah the season's coming again maybe i'll go this coming monday and go check out the auction because now now i just have to buy a whole lot of junk just to get the one item that i want that kind of stinks though not if you uh don't pay a lot you can just throw the junk you don't want out (laughs) well yeah yeah you don't usually pay a lot for anything there 24 days to love that place. It used to be a lot better than it is, but maybe it'll pick up again. Hiya, King Tut. Howdy, howdy, King Tut. Evening, King Tut. Howdy, howdy. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. How's my Lafayette sounding tonight, y'all? Like a Lafayette, man. Check it out yourself on the video gate. There is, uh, there's over 350 videos to check out. Wow, are these the ones that you go way back? They go back over 10 years now. Wow, maybe one day when I'm, you know, traveling. Yeah, I need to go back and look at some of the earlier ones myself, just, just because I don't usually watch them after I post them. But now, now that there's some that are getting kind of old, maybe they, they'd be worth going back to look at. We say how young our voices were back then. How young our voices were. Yeah, I don't think that's changed very much, but uh, there are people there that aren't with us anymore. Uh, yeah, it's very interesting to listen to some of the old stuff. Old Sparky's in there, and I haven't heard from him in a while. Some of the radios that are that we don't have anymore, but... <laughs> Maybe that's back at a time when I can remember things and where stuff was. <laughs> that ladder line's going to drive me crazy because now I want to do something with it. Don't you hate when you have to look for something and you tear the place apart and it ain't where you tore up no way? And you know you got it. You know you didn't get rid of it. You know, and, and you know, I, I can't blame the wife even if she did somehow get rid of it, which I can't imagine she did, but even if she did, she'll never admit it. So that'll just make me crazy. So there's no point in asking her anyway. I always put stuff in a safe place, and I can't find that safe place. But you know, ladder line. I was looking at it online, and that stuff's not even cheap anymore. It used to be cheap. Everything used to be cheap, but nothing is anymore. That was some real good ladder line. That stuff you misplaced, OP. It'd be even better if I could find it. Yeah, you're going to use that for your new dipole. That's right. I need another one. Right now, now that I can get them up at 100 feet. What would happen if we 
we used ladder line on the Simpsons band, what would happen? Nothing. You'd be able to transmit on it if you if you attached it to a proper antenna. Wouldn't it act like a big old antenna? No. No. And the better the good thing about ladder line is there's no loss. Any every coax at a certain length, no matter how good it is, has loss. Ladder line does not have any loss. I have a little bit. No, I don't. Depends on which one. Not measurable anyway. Not they, they even use it at UHF because it doesn't have loss. Yeah. But you couldn't use it on uh you couldn't like stick it on a CB antenna because you'd have to have a ballon on the both ends in a tuner. Well, what you do is is you put ballons on both ends and then, then then you use it. So but even you know, the introduction of the ballons introduces some loss. So whether you're getting ahead or falling behind depends on how far you're you're running. So at a hundred feet it ain't worth it. But if you gotta go five hundred feet it'd be worth it. It's almost unbelievable. Yeah. And even I got a classic piece of equipment tonight there, train. Do you I didn't even ask you because I didn't think you did. I know, I know how you feel about me. I, I know what you're all about. But I do. I actually have a classic piece of uh, equipment on here tonight. I got a, a Miko preamplifier model PT2 receive amp. Sweet. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you had a radio, man. That was classic. Does that thing have a new Vista tube in it, or is it solid state? I think it's solid, solid state there. Because I had one of them Amico, I think it was an Amico preamp years ago, and I'm now, now I wish I'd never got rid of it, but it was a preamp with a new Vista tube in it. I'm like, man, this thing can hear. And I got rid of it. And then it's one of those things, damn it, why did I do that? That was dumb. That was a real good amp, man. That yeah, was a new Vista tube preamp, and I've never been able to find another one. I kept them on because I liked them so much because it, it had a good noise to signal ratio, you know. So uh, I always kept them on laying around. Yeah, that new Vista preamp was a really good one, and I've never seen another one. Hey, Pete. Go ahead, Train. You know what else is a nice collectible item? The Demco modulator. You can use it on other radios if you know how to wire it. That's also very collectible. Yeah, I've seen uh, most of them that are floating around are for the original satellite. And then uh, you don't see the one that uh, my satellite has. Uh, it's a different It's a different arrangement. It's inside the speaker box. Yeah, yeah, but it, it's got a modulator tube in there. And uh, people collect them and, and wire them up for other radios. Yeah, mine's got a 12 AX7 in it. It's basically a takes an unamplified mic and makes it an amplified mic. Yeah, that's what people were doing. Unamplified D104 into a Demco modulator and running them into sonars and stuff. So we're getting good results out of it. A very good result. Russ had one down in R&R and I tried to buy it. He wouldn't let me have it. He knew he was going to make some money off that rascal. When I was on eBay years ago, them things were all over the place, and there were several times I almost pulled the trigger on it, and I never did, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, oops. Breaker. Go ahead, break. It is time for me to duck out. Hey, you guys take care. I'll talk to you soon, I hope. Good to hear you, Ranger. Didn't mean to make your head explode. Northeast of me, uh, I turned the beam and located it, but uh, I, I don't know what it was. Ranger, good to hear you again, man. Incidentally, Skeeter came in there a couple of weeks ago. Oh, we need Sparky. Oh, uh, Ranger, been I don't know how many years, but good night. Catch you later, Ranger. Good to hear you in there. Till next time, seventy-three. Good night, Phil. 
Yeah, don't be so long before you come back again. Uh, I'll, I'll try not to, Ranger. Talk to you later, Ranger. JR selling at 2547 so he can get himself a classic. Yeah, I'm going to look for an old executive. That's what I'm going to look for. Ooh. Skeeter had one of those. Yeah, I, the one I had, uh, the one I started out with, uh, knee high to a grasshopper, was new in a box, new old stock. And that was back in, uh, 72. Um, I don't know what year the radio was, but it was a three channel executive and it had the, the flip switch in the middle of it. It was a little thing. I only put out a watt and a half. But, uh, yeah, pretty interesting. Cat, it's been a while. Spitfire. Hey, Spitfire. Hey, there, train. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, is that uh, JR? Yeah, that, 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 that's JR. Hi, JR. Hello, Alley Cat. Hello, Skippy. What's going on, Alley Cat? Hi, Joker. How are you? Howdy there, good buddy. Hey, is that Dave? Uh, that's a Roger. A 10 4. 10 4 fella. That's a good buddy, Dave. <laughs> good buddies, 1 6. Convoy music. Good buddies, 1 6. <laughs> that goes back to when I lived in Bridgeport. I used to hear this guy all, uh, call, come on the band. I think it was like 19 or something. He'd get on the channel 19 and go, good buddies, 1-6. Good buddies, 1-6. He was on there a lot. He was trolling. He was over there around Bentswood, Bentswood Bridge in the park. He got, I went down to 1-6 and, and, and I played with him for a little while, find out what he was all about. And then he, I found out what he was all about was nothing I wanted to be about. Chase was much more fun than the catch. Yeah, that was so. So whenever I heard him on, I'd fool around with him. I changed my voice. I tell him I was going to meet him up at Bestwood. He used to drive up and down the turnpike. Good buddies, one six. You were turnpike. Ten four. BJ twenty one. BJ twenty one. Good buddies, one six. BJ twenty one. I hear him saying. Yeah, he's over blue van. Oh, I don't know. Pete knows him better than I did. No, I didn't know BJ. I just knew the good buddy 1-6. He used to ride up and down the channel plate. He'd say, BJ 21, BJ 21. One day I got off the Belmont and that shit off 76. It was super loud in my mobile. He was right next to me in a blue van.
Well, I never found out what Good Buddy One Six was driving because I never actually went to meet him. I wonder if that bet part of the park over there by Betswood Bridge, if that's still the place for them. I imagine it still is, man. You know, the, night, the nighttime pickle park. The v Vasix, hang on, the Vasix Classic. Yeah, now you don't have to hide it anymore. You don't have to hide the pickle. You can be proud of it. Don't sound so uh, happy about it, P. <laughs> oh, well, you know, if you can't beat them, join them, right? Yeah, no. Very school boss. I'm kind of wishing I was in that taxi that went off the bridge over. Yeah, yeah, I'd be better off going off the cliff. Being taxi ride down the cliff? Yeah, I'd be better off than being a good buddy. to get in there like this. Good buddies. One six. Good buddies. One six. I'm there. This is what I used to do Gaylord down there. BA, BJ 21. Oh, there was a bunch of them. There was, uh, God, there was Ben Gay, the Raven. That's what it was, Ben Guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. A lot of sick people. communications, yes, and business, not anymore. Well, it just turned into social media radio. Pretty much. That's what it is. I go with that. I kind of, I think it's very, very good as Facebook. <laughs> And then the good buddy one six will be showing you pictures of things you don't want to see. <laughs> it wouldn't take long for it to go right down the rabbit hole.
in, in theory, it sounds good, but in practice, it's going to get ugly. No, they threw in the towel on this band a long time ago. No, if they did that, they'd come back. I think the FCC is just hoping that all the uh, all the down getters and uh, and uh, all the all the nonsense that gets on uh, the toilet bowl and all that, everybody just like wipes each other out and they all die off. Yeah, you'd think that would happen, but they keep making more of them. Yeah, yeah. Matter or any matter, do you self-destruct or something? Yeah, just so when you think it's all done, the solar cycle comes around again. It's all back up again, gets everybody all excited, and away they go. Yeah, you would. You would, actually. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe my next radio out of the vision screen. Vision, uh, vision screen, I can't say it, but I know what I mean. I sent you a link, JR, for a classic radio. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't hear it and I didn't see it, but I can imagine. I want to use my imagination before I look at it. I think it only has six minutes left. All you got to do is wait till I die, JR, and you just come over here and knock on the door, and the wife will give you anyone you want. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. I heard about her. You're going to have your pick. I'd probably take your yay, though. I kind of see you with the B&W. I can do the B&W. Yeah, I can do that. I can, I can do that. I can do that with the big old broadcast and uh, 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 sound room there, you know, and get into it there and start telling some stories about the CB radio. What do you think? Yeah, you could do do all that and 11 meters. Well, there you go. It's not like I didn't see that thing before, but uh, this will be a little less of it. This is only 80 pounds of it. I'll take his super sidekick. I mean, the satellite. That one I meant. Yeah, super satellite. That guy was going to be super sidekick. I have a super sidekick I could put on the super satellite, but it doesn't sound as good as a D-104. Yeah, don't mess with it, Pete. Although my Turner Plus 2 works on there pretty well. You got some pretty nice little ones up there, too, from what I've seen. Well, you looked at that link? I've seen it on his YouTube thing there. We, uh, we, I forget what radio he had going on there, but I've seen the two of them up on the shelf. Somebody needs to do a station identification. I just don't even receive their link. County wide. 27.115 on your AM radio dial. Classic radio roundup on channel 13. Or glowing glass tubes are just about as much fun as boobs. Who has boobs? Oh no. Amplifier porn. Yeah, P said he had boobs or something. Glowing glass tubes. 6BQ5 audio modulator. Oh, tubes. 
One's almost as much fun as the other. Yeah, I, I can hear it a touch too. How would you explain that 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 noise, JR? Is that skip or just what is it? I yeah, I guess I would consider that. I hear that more so than not when it's in there, but I I don't know. I, I guess it would be skip. Does this almost sound musical? Yeah, I see his needle bouncing up and down. Well, now I'm seeing it more. It's like when the needle bounce up and down. It almost sounds like music, but I don't think it is. I just think it's conditions. That's work. I just hear somebody in and out. That's what it sounds like. The noise is like up and down. I, I get it. But it's low. It's really low. It almost sounds like heterodyning riding up and down on the in the signal. I go with that. I sent you another link to uh, see if maybe that one will come through. Alrighty, I didn't get the other one. Maybe there's something wrong. I haven't received any responses from you on recent stuff that I have sent. I'm being ghosted. Might not be going through. Boy, I'm trying. The last time I got something from you, it sounds better. Okay, thank you. You sent me the picture of your your uh, your stack of radios there in your room, which is a nice stack. There. You got a nice stack, right? JJR, you might be using RCS. Uh, uh, texting, which you need to be hooked up to the internet for. Sorry, I'll double with your alley cat. Come again. I was saying to one of you, you might need to use RCS texting because you're both on it as far as I, I can see on my phone, and that has to be connected to the internet or you won't get your text. JR, you might not never get your text messages. I may not. I don't know. <laughs> At least not from you. That's what I'm saying. You'll be missing out. What's he talking about? RTCO or some shit? It's, an, it's from what I know about it, it's an upgraded uh texting format and you have to be on the internet for it to go through well i'm always on the uh, I, don't, I don't know why well, i am on the internet i got wi-fi so that's good enough yeah you got wi-fi you're on the internet that's right so train you gotta stop chiseling your uh Messages out on the slate there and then start uh, sending them through the internet. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> All right, you better clean stuff. Carrier pigeons on its way. Or there's a hacker in between the two of you, so there's some kind of virus. So you didn't get none of them, huh, JR? 
Yeah, or maybe Big Brother intercepted it and checking it out before it can forward it.
Okay, thank you. <laughs> what happened? What? I just said, how you doing? I just broke in quick to say that, so you guys could continue with your conversation. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, well, all right, we're continuing. Um, well, again, sorry, it, it's nice to hear you in there, too, Alec. I didn't hear you earlier. Did we, did we lose anybody? Is everybody still in there? Split fire, Dave, and uh, did Ranger leave? Ranger had to go. Uh, okay, all right, I have to catch him next time. I'm going to try to get all of you guys, I want to try to get all of you guys in our, in our radio group. we got a Facebook radio group called Southeast PA, no, no, I'm sorry, or back up, Southeast Keystone CB Ham Connections. And before you guys get into all that, I'm going to say 73, so I'm going to call it a night, time for me to head to bed. Been fun, enjoy it. Train, one, two, three, alley cat. Stand by your PD if you're still in there. Maybe you didn't. You fall. <laughs> you fall asleep. Maybe you didn't. But anyway, uh, I'm King Tut, Skippy, 73 guys. I'm going 10-7. Good night. Good night, Jr. See you, Jr. Good hearing you again, man. Talk to you later, Jr. to wait to hear your uh, your new classic radio someday. Good night, Jr. County wide. Yeah, I think I'm right behind him. That was a long day. But a lot of good fun here. Worth staying up for on the Classic Radio Roundup. But I think I, I'm... Uh, before I do what JR said I was accused of doing, I'm going to go and do before I actually do. So I'm going to go exit stage left. Thanks for the fun. Classic Radio Roundup. Video gate will be up probably tomorrow. Check it out. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. There's my shameless plug. Countywide Radio, 441. Alrighty, we'll catch you later. I'm probably going to be uh, heading out of way myself in a few. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Good night, Spitfire. Good night, Dave. Pull the plug myself, and uh, I'm working on getting his other videos up. So, talk to you guys later. You too. Alright, Joker. Have a good one, man. We'll catch you later, and uh, good night, all. Come on, you joker. You're leaving too bad. Yeah, it's, it's about that time. It's only 10 out of 3. Uh, no, actually, it's 10 4. There you go. 10 4. Your, cl your clock's fast. Good night. And, uh. Ah, who's counting? <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys. Good night, Dave. Good night, Dave. Good night. Catch you guys later. Take it easy, Joker. Good night, Joker. Good night, one and all. <laughs> Have a good one, Joker. See you guys.